Good morning, everyone. Pastor Brett here, and it's time for some coffee with the scriptures. Thank you, Jesus. As uh, many requests for this particular segment, so uh, please forgive me for not following through consistently with this particular reading um, and with this segment. Um, it's not always, it's easier said than done. Believe that. Um, it's not as easy to do these video segments as um, some people might think, but um, I'm thankful for the privilege of being able to do so. And so we'll pray and say, Father, thank you for your word. Thank you for this time in your word. And I pray, Lord God, that you would bless us with your presence as we read. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you give us, Father. Um, we pray that you would uh, continue to be with uh, those that are in need, Father God, um, Kathleen, uh, Pray for her healing, Father God. Um, thank you for wisdom that you give to doctors. And uh, thank you, Lord God, for uh, what you do, the way you do it. We trust you. We surrender ourselves to your care. And we pray that you bless us now um, as we seek you, Lord God, as we seek understanding from your word. Hallelujah. Fill us. Let us overflow. And we'll give you thanks and praise, Lord, for everything. Be glorified, we pray. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen? Hey, hallelujah. I hope you said amen. So here we are. We're in Psalm 119. And we are at verse 89 through 96. Amen? So uh, we're going to read. Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Hallelujah. Unless the law, unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. Hallelujah. I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. The wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end to all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. So we go back and we look at verse 89. He says, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Hallelujah. This book is settled in heaven for all eternity. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Verse 90 says, Thy faithfulness is unto all generations. All generations. Thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. Hallelujah. God's faithfulness doesn't end. It, it just continues on. He'll be faithful long after we're gone. And he's been faithful long before we came. Hallelujah. So I thank the Lord for his faithfulness. Amen. Um, thou hast established the earth, and it abideth. So the earth abides as well. Then he says in verse 91, They continue this day according to thine ordinances. They being what? The earth and what? His people, right? They, his faithfulness is unto all generations. Amen. So all generations being all the people that have passed throughout this, you know, throughout the eons, um, throughout the passage of time, it's been his people, us, Israelites, the people of God, um, and of course, the earth, moon, and stars as well, right? He says the earth abides. So we know that he's talking about the, the planet itself. Um, he says, uh, so I believe that it's pointing to both. Um, verse 91, it says, They continue this day according to thine ordinances, for all are thy servants. Hallelujah. The earth does serve the Lord because it serves his people. And if it serves his body, the body of Christ, then it serves the Lord. Um Verse 92, unless thy law had been my delights, I should then have perished in mine affliction. 
Hallelujah. Without the word of God, we have no life. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. Hallelujah. It's the word of God that made you alive. Amen. It's the word of God that saved you. It's the word of God that the Apostle Paul preached and said, you know, once you hear that, you know, and then confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Right? It's the word of God that saves. Verse 94, I am thine, save me, for I have sought thy precepts. Are you seeking the word of God today? Verse 95, the wicked have waited for me to destroy me, but I will consider thy testimonies. I have seen an end. Hallelujah. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Hallelujah. The word of God will never end. The, um, what's it say in Isaiah? Um, uh, the, the flower withers, the earth fades, or how does it go? The flower withers, passes away, but the word of God shall abide forever. Um, amen. The word of God will abide forever. It will live forever. And uh, though all things that are supposed perfect will come to an end, um, the word of God will abide forever. And we can thank him and praise him for that. Amen. So listen, thank you for uh, watching, reading along with us. And uh, I hope and pray that uh, this sinks deep into your heart, um, that you meditate upon this portion of scripture um, and uh, think about it throughout the day. Um, and we'll try to get back to you uh, um, consistently and finish this um, this uh, chapter in scripture, Psalm 119. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Jesus loves you. We love you. And we hope and pray that you have a great day. Um, come back again where we'll share some more coffee with the scriptures. Thanks again. Have a great day in Jesus' name.